Um, obviously, this is a big moment for you and for all the other candidates who've come today. What next? Where will we see a money coalition? What will we see you doing in the next few days well, up until March 4th? Definitely, we are going to start rolling out our campaign. Uh, it is important. As we leave here, a lot of our supporters are gathered in the city. So we intend to be able to go and talk to them and uh, confirm to them that uh, we are firmly in the race and uh, we have no option but to win. Mm -hmm. That is our target. We were just speaking to your, uh, to, to your running mate, of course, Jeremiah Keone, and we asked him about where you feel um, you're going to be able to garner those votes from. Um, and where do you think those votes are going to come from, in your view? We are going to campaign throughout the country. Uh, because if you, are in, if you intend to be president of this republic, which is what I intend to be in the next uh, few weeks, mm -hmm. I have to be able to reach out to all Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So I shall not discriminate in my search for votes. Uh, I will go to every part of the country, and I'm appealing to all Kenyans. Mm -hmm. There are 14.3 million registered voters. I'm appealing to all of them to look at my candidature seriously and vote for me. All right, let's take you to uh, a story, obviously, that we know about it, the fact that you were, you know, on the list of nominees and then suddenly you weren't on that list. O what exactly is, is the motivation behind that? In, in a sense, people want to know, okay, so what is Musalem Budavadi now up to? I think um, uh, I said it very clearly that um, the party uh, made a proposal. Uh, I was out in the field uh, campaigning and they did make a proposal and I thank them for the proposal they had made. But clearly, uh, my target is the presidency of this country. So I have formally told the party, uh, machinery, because I'm not a party official, but I'm their candidate, mm -hmm. that I want to focus on the presidential campaign, and therefore the issue of being on the party list, that should be allowed for another person mm -hmm. within the party. They have complied, and I think they have communicated appropriately uh, to the IABC uh, on that matter. By the way, I would like uh, Kenyans to remember that uh, previously, I've turned down a nomination. Mm -hmm. um, in 2002, I was offered an opportunity to be a nominated member of parliament, and I turned it down. I remain the only Kenyan who turned down a nomination mm -hmm. ever that has been granted. So I felt that in keeping with that tradition, this opportunity should be given to somebody else. What motivates that decision? You did it before, and what, what is it that motivates you to come to that decision? I think, I think I'm, I'm a firm believer in the democratic process. Uh, and if somebody has made... Um, uh, a decision on a certain matter about an elective position, let us respect that, that position and let them be given an opportunity to run. And I hope that this is the culture that we can inculcate in our Kenyan people. I want to ask you, let's just go back to the last few months. Um, obviously, you, you, you've been making various political moves is what they can be described as. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from that? Because there was a lot of speculation that, oh, perhaps he was duped, perhaps he didn't know about this. You're here now as the presidential candidate for the Amani Coalition. What can you say you've learned over the last few months about perhaps your character and being able to weather those kinds of storms? Well, I think I'm uh, a very resolute person. Uh, I'm not somebody who is uh, discouraged because uh, uh, of a hiccup in your journey. I think if that was uh, going to be my style, then uh, clearly we would not uh, be able to drive what we want to be able to do in terms of leading this country. Uh, there will be challenges from time to time as uh, you move into politics and you must be prepared to rise up to those challenges, overcome them and move forward. Right. And that is my uh, clear message to all Kenyans. And finally, are you going to be the person that determines whether or not we're going to go into a runoff in this election? Uh, I intend to be the president of this country. Uh, that is my target. Uh, I'm going to campaign vigorously so that I can win. Mine is to look for victory and in a peaceful manner. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And of course you're confident about that. I'm very confident. We'll be looking out. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us.